بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, the next thing we'll try to verify the OSP of broadcast network behavior in this example here. Like what we'll be doing is we'll be using some four routers here, the router one, two, three, four, and these routers are again, we are connecting to a backbone network switch here in my GNS3, and then we'll quickly configure the routers in area zero, and we'll assign some IP addresses, and then we'll configure some OSP of and verify the behavior here. So to verify this behavior again we will be using some kind of topology here the same four routers any four routers you just connect and try to connect all the routers to to the backbone switch assuming that this is a backbone which is provided by the service point here so likewise i'm connecting all my ethernet interfaces to centralize a switch which is simulating my service port or backbone network So let's do the same thing for all the remaining routers and likewise here as well. So once we do this, so the next thing is I'll try to go and assign the IP addressing as per this. So it's a simple IP addressing. I'll be using like 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4 because they all are connecting the same broadcast network. So you need to have the same, uh, same network. Of course, the opposite interfaces has to be on the same subnet. So let's quickly console them and try to verify the behavior. So this is my router one, and then we'll go to router two, three, four as well. So these are new routers. So probably what I'll do is I'll try to assign the IP addressing and configure the OSP of as per my topology here. So this is my topology. So let's quickly configure the IP addressing as well here. So the first thing I'll configure the OSP of uh, using 10 dot network and area zero that's the first thing and then of course the interface which i'm connecting is f0 by zero we'll try to assign the ip address the slash 24 submit mask or you can use slash 8 whatever the value and of course the no shutdown command to make the interface up here so I'll try to copy paste this configuration here because the same configuration applies to all the remaining routers. Now the only difference is the IP address will change. So I'm going to use this on the router two. On the router two here. And then on the router three. On the router three, I need to change the IP address to this one. And then let's go ahead and configure this here on the router 3 as well as on the router 4 as well. So I'm not making any changes. So I'm just going with the default configurations here with the default IP. You can have more than one interface, but in my case, uh, in my case, it's just one interface here. I think that is sufficient. So we don't need to create any loopback or other interfaces. If you want, you can just go ahead and create. Now, what I should see is uh, it says unable to allocate the router ID, and that's the problem here. I just need to reconfigure the OSP of here. Let me just quickly, because there was no IP addresses, so it was unable to pick the router ID. That's a problem over there. Because if you remember, we discussed the concepts of the router ID. It will automatically select any one interface. If there is no manual router ID, it will select the loopback or the physical interface. So I think now it's done. So you can see the neighborship establishes between the router of one. And if you verify show IP OSP of neighbor, if you remember, I discussed that when you're connecting to one broadcast network to a service border, generally this uh, connection, like the router one is establishing the neighborship with the router two, three, four. So these are the IPs. Of course, these are the router IDs as well. And you can see the priority values here. These are the default priority values. I did not change. So the default will be one. And the neighborship here, and I think the neighborship is established completely here. So if I say show IP OSP of neighbor, and you can see there are some neighbors which are in two-way state and some neighbors which are full. Now, as per this example, if you verify, in, in my example, this neighbor is the DR. You can see the message here. 
indicates that router 4 is a DR and the router 3 is a PDR and the router 2 is DR other as per these outputs and again this is your other router and the neighborship between other and the DR will be a full and the neighborship between other and the BDR also will be full and the neighborship between the other and the other will be two way stage according to the things what we discussed and the remaining outputs are same like the timer and the interface and the actual interface IP addresses. So I did not do anything here. So if you verify, of course, I don't see any routes because I don't have any routes here to verify. And there are some other verifications like we can say show IP OSPF interface. Uh, if I specifically say interface F0 by 0, which I'm using here, you can see this is my Ethernet interface. And this interface is the network type is a broadcast. Like if you remember, we discussed in the basics, like all the Ethernet interfaces will be automatically treated as a broadcast. And of course, the cost and other values we discussed. The router ID automatically selects the highest IP here. And what is the state? The state is a DR other. Now the current state of this router is DR other and the priority value of this router is a one. Okay, so who is your DR? Again, you can see some other information like, in my example, the router 4 is a DR. Now why? Because based on the router IDs. Now these are the router IDs and this is the highest router ID and automatically it selects this router as a DR. So if you can verify these options by using show IP OSPF neighbor again, or you can also specifically use show IP OSPF interface where you can see the states uh, and the same outputs here. So we did not do anything. It's, it's a kind of uh, basic verifications. Now the next thing is like, we'll try to see what if I want to decide or change any specific router to become the DR. Like in this example, let's say I want this router, maybe these two routers or my small branch office routers, maybe just a small routers. And this is my main head office router. And I want this router to take up the role of DR because the DR means it's doing additional job, which means that router should be a little bit high end router. And my scenario, I want this router one to take up the role of the DR. And I want the router two to take up the role of BDR because uh, I assume that these are the routers or my high end routers in my network. They have some additional processing capabilities, probably a little bit high end router or the speed routers. And the other routers should be the DR other. Of course, this is other and this is other. And at the same time, I want this router should never become a DR. So which means I want uh, to ensure that the router 4 should never become a DR or BDR. BDR. To do that, we can uh, simply uh, change the priority value to zero. Now zero means, if you remember I said, it, it will never become a DR or other. Uh, DR or BDR. So it will it will always remain in the other state. Now to do that, uh, we need to simply go to the interfaces and change the priority values. So the connected interface, in my example, the F0 by 0 is my connected interface. So we'll go to that interface and change the priority values. So the priority values, we can do any number from 0 to 255. Highest is always preferable. And in my example, I want the router one to take up the role of the DR. So I'm changing the priority value to 255, the highest value. And I want the router two to take up the role of backup DR. So I'm changing the priority value here as 254, which is going to become the BDR. I'm not going to change on the router three because I just leave it. But on the router four, I want this router four should never become the DR or the BDR, which means I'm going to change the priority value to zero. So how we can do that? Simple command, IP OSP of priority, and then give the priority value. And again, one more thing, if you remember, let's let's quickly do that. I'll go to router, I'll go to my topology. In my example, I want the router one should take up the role of DR. So I'm going to change the priority value to this values. And the priority value I'm going to change to zero on the router four. So let's go to the interface, which it connects. And then we have to say IP OSP of priority, anything from zero to 255. So I'm giving the highest value on the router one. 
and on the router two, I'm going to give the priority value as 254, the next uh, highest. And on the router four, I'm going to change the priority value to zero. So as per my requirement, I'm changing it for verifications. So if you go and verify the states, if I say show IP OSP of neighbor, here you can see the states. Again, the states may change, but again, one more thing you need to do is you need to make sure that we also use the clear IP OSP process command. Because by default, these elections are non preempt, which means whenever you make any changes, uh, because already the neighborship has been established, the DR, BDR has been decided, everything is decided. So whenever you make any changes to router ID or priority values or any, any specific values like, so you need to make sure that you also clear the process. Of course, you have to reload the router or else, but basically going to every router and saying clear the process is something recommended. That's what we'll try to do here. I'll say clear IP OSP process to ensure that this process, it is going to restart, means reset the process. We'll do it on each and every router here. So let's do it on all these routers to quickly do the re-election process. And then on the router one as well, clear IP OSP process and reset the process here. Now, once I reset the process, what I should see is, I should see the changes like on the router one, if I say show IP OSP of interface F0 by zero, I am expecting that the router one should be there in the DR state. So it's waiting state because I have just made changes. So I'm expecting the router one should become the DR on this network. So meantime, I'll go and verify on the route, other routers. If I say show IP OSP of interface here, you can see the state is DR other. The router four is now the DR other. And if you also go and verify with show IP OSP of neighbor, now in this example, you can see the router from the router four here, uh, from the router four, the router one is a DR. And it still shows the other routers as the others. Now it's, now it's fine. Now in this example, you can see the router one is my DR and the router two is a BDR and the router three is a is the other router here. 